Welcome to my review of my Cisco Routing and Switching Essentials lab. In this video, we're looking at lab 6.4.1.5, configuring IPv4 route summarization. So here's our lab document. And it actually already has most of the uh, items done for us. So what I did was I took everything and I put it in Excel. So what we're looking at is what's common. So here we have both IPv4 addresses broken up into binary. And you'll notice these are all common. These are all the same. These are all the same. Here, only the first two bits are the same, and the rest are not. So what we do is we go, and wherever they are the same, we kind of just put all straight ones. One, two. We know the first two bits are the same. That means everything else is not. That means our new subnet mask, sorry, our new IP address should be this guy right here with a subnet mask of 255. 255-252-192. So we're taking just the two bits. And that right there is our now our route summarization. So we finished that part. So let's go on to part two. We are looking at these three subnets. And we were doing the same thing. I broke them up into binary already. And you'll first see that the first ones are here only the first bit is the same. And the remaining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits are different. So what we can do is our subnet, sorry, our IP address will be that guy, and our new subnet mask will be one twenty eight. So that will be our new summarization address that summarizes these three networks. All right, so let's go ahead and program the first summarized route in R1. Get into our configuration mode, so config terminal. We want to do an IP route. We've already said that that's going to be our new subnet mask. 128 space 92. And we're going to be sending that out to our next hop, which looking at the writing information should be 172.31.157.98. Going on to the next part, which is configuring the summarized route for R3. We're going to hop to its configuration mode, so configure terminal, IP route. We are using this IP route, 172.31.157.0.255.255.255.128. And this one we're sending at serial 001. And let's verify the connectivity. So let's go ahead and try to ping. PC1. So P 
being 172.31.157.62. All right, so we lost one packet. I'm going to do it again. We have end-to-end -end connectivity. That's the end of this lab. I want to thank you.